biography. This is the story of you that you share with everyone wherever you go because, right, if you're the brand, all I care about is what's unique and different about you. And then I'm going to buy whatever you've got to sell me because I like you. So what's your personal connection biography? How do you share it? Well, think about this. Life happens when you're being authentic. So whatever happens in your life is what I want to know about. I want to know about who you are and what I can learn from you. So, do you have a natural talent? Everyone has a natural talent. And I want to know about it in your personal connection story. What's a natural talent? Every one of us is born with a gift of something we do so easily and so naturally every day that we don't even think about it. You get up in the morning and you do this one thing over and over again every day. And it's so natural to you that it just it's effortless for you. Okay? But it's not effortless for me, and guess what? It's either going to make a really good story for you to share, or it's going to make a really good business for you to sell me, because it's natural, and I'm going to want a piece of it because it's genuine, right? So what's your natural talent? Do you have one that you know off the top of your head? We develop these for people. But if you can integrate that into your story, the better. What makes you unique? That's what we developed off your USP just right now. So that goes into your personal connection story. What's your artistic ability? People say, I don't have one. We all have one. We're not one-dimensional people. You've got to have an artistic side to you. That's what makes you fun and well-balanced in life. What life challenges have you overcome? Some of the best connections you make with people are understanding what hardships they've been through or what adversity they've overcome. It's genuine, right? And you see someone standing before you who's been through X. And X could be something big or it could be something small, but it doesn't matter. They've come through the challenge and won, right? And that's something that resonates with us all. And what path did you take to get to where you are? Really interesting. I was talking with John and he was talking about how growing up he worked at a, was it a pizza shop? That's really cool. I have worked at a pizza shop. I'm kind of interested. I mean, that's what's neat about him. Otherwise, there's lots of financial advisors, but that's kind of interesting. That's what I'll remember, right? So, but beyond that, you know, look, look at my path. You know, I worked here, I worked there, I did that. We all have those stories. Lynn's got a fabulous sailing story. If you get a chance, meet up with her at the networking um, <laughs> wine and cheese reception afterwards and ask her about that. It's fascinating. So, these are all questions to ask yourself. So. This is how I came up with this theory. I was in Las Vegas several years ago talking at the American Bar Association conference. And I talked about branding, and afterwards this lawyer came up to me and she said, oh, that substance of the branding was great, but what I really love is your personal story about how you got to be where you are. I think you should take that show on the road. <laughs> and I looked at her and I said, seriously? And she said, yeah, I pay money to hear that whole story all over again. <laughs> <laughs> What's your connection to people? <coughs> so here's what I want you to do. Hopefully you're sitting next to someone who doesn't know you very well. I want you to turn to the person next to you, and if not, move around, pair up. That's why the room is smaller, so we can have that kind of intimacy. Tell them what is your uniqueness. Share with them what you wrote down. You know, put it out the way you want. And then share your personal connection story with them. So obviously we're only going to have a minute and a half to do this, so it's not going to be some long diatribe. But you can save that for the reception afterwards. But I want you to be able to get comfortable sharing that with them. And the person who is listening, you have a very important job in this. You are the coach. So it's not often that we're going to get genuine, authentic feedback from people. That is your job. Compassionate, caring, you've got to be nice about it, but, <laughs> but constructive feedback. Do you buy that story about what's genuine and unique about that person? And does their personal connection story resonate with you? Please be honest with them because they deserve that and you're going to get it back. So if you're not genuine, they're not going to get it back with you. Okay, so Peggy's going to time it. <coughs> All right, so a minute and a half. But actually, Peggy, if you're participating, I can time it. I shall. Okay, okay. All right, so go. Okay. My personal thing is like